Hey, welcome to another simple engineering snippet. In this instructional video, we work a straightforward Bernoulli's equation example to determine the steady state height of liquid in a tank. I hope you find it useful. Okay, before we get started, let's go over some dimensions. Uh, we have an inflow pipe, an outflow pipe, and the uh, elevation from the bottom of the tank uh, are provided. And the diameter of each of these pipes is four inches. Let's uh, label some uh, points that uh, may be useful in our analysis. So alpha is the inflow. Bravo is our outflow pipe. Charlie represents the inflow from the top. And delta is the free surface of our fluid. Okay, so let's uh, also look at the provided flow rates. At alpha, we have a volume flow rate of 0 0.6 cubic feet per second. Bravo, 1 cubic feet per second outflow. And at Charlie, 0.4 cubic feet per second inflow. I'm uh, going to skip conservation of mass, but clearly uh, 0 0.4 plus 0 0.6 is equal to 1.0. So steady state conditions for conservation of mass are satisfied, so we are analyzing for a steady state uh, height of the fluid. Let's select the datum, or z is equal to 0, at the bottom of the tank. And let's work on Bernoulli's equation, applying it from point delta, the free surface, to our outlet at Bravo. Now, we're using Bernoulli's equation. Let's review the uh, restrictions on its use. Uh, one, we need steady state, which we have. Inviscid, so our solution will be ignoring any frictional or form losses. Incompressible. And applied along a streamline. Applied along a streamline is actually a mathematical definition involving being tangent to the velocity vector. But in steady state, the streamlines and the path lines are identical. And so we're going to say that the molecule of delta will eventually make its way out this tank. So this is the imaginary streamline that we will be applying Bernoulli's equation along. All right, let's simplify. Delta is a free surface. And it's at atmospheric pressure, so we're going to call that zero. It's a large tank, so large tank assumption. We uh, assume that the dynamic pressure term is negligible or zero. The elevation at delta, that is our unknown height that we're looking for. The outflow at Bravo is a free stream, so again, it's at atmospheric pressure or zero. The velocity at Bravo, well, that's not zero. And we do know the elevation at Bravo. So this is the equation that we have, and reminding this two feet is the elevation at Bravo. So we're going to need the velocity of Bravo. Well, again, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Velocity is equal to the volume flow divided by the flow area. And that information is provided. Substituting in the uh, values and units, we obtain that the velocity of Bravo is 11.5 feet per second. So going back to our simplified form of Bernoulli's equation, uh, we have everything we need to do solve for the uh, height. And substituting in the values and the units, and looking at the units, uh, in the numerator of this term, we have feet squared per second squared divided by feet per second squared. So this comes out to be feet, so that's good. And we obtain our final value of 5.06 feet. So I hope you found that useful. If so, like and subscribe. More importantly, have a great day.